Hey friends, so today we're doing something different. I'm just taking you along as I make this delicious West African Nigerian delicacy, which is called a goosey soup. It is probably one of the most popular African foods on TikTok right now. So let's get into it. Okay, so here I have my ground igusi. I would put a picture on the screen so you guys know what it looks like. This is the whole seed, but I get mine already um, grounded. That way it's easier. So I am gonna start off by diluting it with water. This just helps me to form it into a paste. There are different ways to make igusi soup, but I like the frying method, which I'm gonna be showing you guys today. So I'm just adding enough water to form a thick consistency just so it would fry in the oil. Um, and give me that grainy consistency that I'm looking for. So once I get all of that and break up all the big lumps, I am done. I'm going to put that aside. Now, off camera, I have prepped my proteins. So in this bowl right here, I have smoked turkey, I have cow feet, I have goat meat, cow tripe, name it. I boiled this, cooked it. It's actually done. And I made, I cooked it in this delicious rich broth, which is right here. All I added was some um, red onions, some um, habanero peppers. I added a little bit of spring onions and some seasoning cubes and salt. Simple, all the flavors from the meat will get that straight. So now in a pot, I'm gonna be adding some palm oil. So we don't use regular vegetable oil for this recipe. You would need that palm oil. And I just get it from my local African or um, ethnic store in my city. So once that oil is heated up, I'm just going in with one small red onion. Now this might seem like a lot because I ended up using five cups of goosey. I was actually cooking it for um, a group of people. So it's actually a whole lot of food to make. So once I get that onions um, caramelized, I just keep stirring it and then I will start, you know, building up all those flavors. What I have here right now is crushed locust beans and crayfish. I will have the pictures on here. Locust beans is probably the most common African spice. It gives you that umami effect, that flavor that only this thing can give you. Y'all, I love it so, so much. And crayfish is, is just a different species of shrimp, pretty much. All this helps to build up the flavors and intensify the oil. That is the crayfish right here. I'm saving some to add later to it. And over here, I have some dried shrimp. This is just regular shrimp already dried. I get, I got all of these um, food stuff from Nigeria, but I also get it from here. By the way, my husband is from Nigeria for those of my viewers that do not know. So I had to learn to cook his meals. Okay. So as you can see, I am pouring in my um, igusi paste. And at this point, I don't go in and stirring it too crazy. Okay. I just, you know, as you can see, I just mix it in the oil and all I'm doing is lower the heat and cover it up. I want these to form its own um, grain-like consistency. This is about 10 minutes in, undisturbed, on very low heat. And as you can see, I am making sure that it is not um, sticking to the bottom of the pot or burning. As you can see, the, the, the consistency has changed quite a bit. I don't like my goosey all, you know, mushed up in the soup. I like this kind of grainy consistency. Okay. If you have any West African friend, I bet you they would know a, a goosey soup. And right now, like I said in my intro, it is the most, not even probably, it is the most popular African Nigerian dish on TikTok right now. People from all ethnicities have been trying it and some have been loving it. Again, food is not for everybody, you know, but until you try it, you will never know. So this is about 20 minutes into frying it. And as you can see, it almost looks like rice. This right here, this process right here to me is really important. And once I get that straight, I am going in with my stock. When I tell you this stock is super, super rich, believe me. So I'm just adding um, my stock and stirring it and just making sure that I don't add too much. But the amount of stock that I made was just perfect for this recipe. And when I tell you it was a hit, it was really a hit. So yeah, I'm going in and adding more of that broth. And now, as you guys know, my meat is just freshly cooked. So now I am going in and adding it in there just so 
the flavors can just marinate together with the uh, fried agusi and just become one. And then once I stir it in, I'm still cooking on low heat. As you can see, I had to switch to my wooden spoon because the other spoon was just not getting it, you know? When I'm cooking my African meals, I like to go with this wooden spoon and get everything together. Now here I have some smoked dried catfish. I'm adding it earlier because like I said, it's dry and it takes a little longer. And this right here, <laughs> the bomb, it is so delicious. And then I'm adding in my um, dried shrimps. All of these I have washed thoroughly off camera trust me because they go through a lot of um the processing it's just too much and i just can't trust the hands that handled it so what i do i soak it up in um, um hot water or just warm water let it sit and then i wash it and dump out all the you know the residue on the bottom now i have mixed everything i'm going to cover it up and I decided that I needed more stuff because I didn't want my agusi to be, you know, too dry because this is something that you would eat with um, fufu. And I also know people that eat it with rice. I know my sister likes to eat it with white rice. So yeah, that's all I'm doing, combining everything. And then I am going to cover it up and let it simmer for at least 15 minutes. And in the meantime, I had some fresh mackerel that I just salted and put in my air fryer on the broil settings. And this just gave me the perfectly grilled fish. I like to use this to add to my um, egusi soup or most of my African meals at the very end. So this is what it looks like. It is freshly made straight out of the fire, y'all. So what I'm doing now is just to debone it. So mackerel does not really have a whole lot of bones. I'm just deboning everything. I like to leave them kind of intact in big chunks and just add it at the very end of the cooking process. This right here, I can never skip this for anything. I always stock up on um, my mackerel. I do not play <laughs> with it, y'all. If you guys would like to see more of me in this relaxed, you know, state where I just pick up my camera and bring you along as I cook meals for my family, you know, sometimes for other people as well, let me know in the comment section below. I can easily do that and incorporate it with our regular recipes. If that's something that you like, please drop it in the comments below. I will be happy to share more African cuisine with you right here or even sometimes not african cuisine but just more laid back content okay so now as you can see the agusi soup has been cooking for about 10 minutes now and it's on really low heat you can see my fire right there really low heat it's just simmering we just needed to simmer and mingle everything is pretty much done at this point however we're not going to forget one very important ingredient which is bitter leaf this right here was frozen it's frozen bitter leaf and like the name says it is better bitter but i wash it thoroughly i wash it a couple of times and that takes out a lot of the bitterness it actually has a lot of medicinal properties you can google it and it is so delicious it just it's the cherry on the top of this agusi. It is so, so important for me. So I like to put it here and let it at least cook for another um, five minutes at least because it's a, it's tougher than spinach. It's a lot tougher than spinach. So I just need it to cook enough but not overcook. So I am just adding enough. Some people like less, some people like more. And just like that, that is it. My agusi. I am going in and adding in the fish because at this point, like I said, everything is done. I'm adding in my smoked mackerel and I don't want it to be all mushed up in there. So once I put it in, I just, you know, kind of push it into the soup and that is it. I put it on the lowest setting on my stove and that's it. We make our fufu and we get into it. Again, let me know in the comments below if this is... Um, if you guys would want to see more laid back videos like these where I just bring you along in my kitchen, I find it really, you know, relatable and very personal. And yeah, so let me know in the comments below. Our Igusi is ready. Tag a friend. Let everybody know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye y'all.